I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about this very, very important vitamin, vitamin D, vitamin D3, D2. We are, we are different forms of vitamin D, but we're going to talk about the deficiency of vitamin D and how critical it is to our health, not just of us, our children, our parents, people who are growing old, all of us. Now, this is a small vitamin, but when we go back into the research of several Nobel Prize winners, they talk about how most diseases today are caused because of a deficiency of maybe even one particular vitamin or one mineral or a set of minerals and a set of vitamins. And that's so true because when we look at the health benefits of different vitamins, if we all go back to sixth grade in school once more and we remember what we learned about vitamin A, the B vitamins, D and all of that stuff, it makes us think that Something as simple as a small vitamin, if we have a deficiency, it can create problems, right? From low immunity to the eye health, to your bone health, to your hair, your skin, your weight, and everything else. But we don't look at that. And it's so important for us to stress on the importance of vitamin D because I can tell you right now that it's probably not even one in two, but one in one patient that comes to us has a deficiency of vitamin D. And we need to put a lot of limelight on this subject because it sounds simple, have a deficiency, take a supplement, boost up your vitamin D and all of your problems are sorted. But what's been going on in your body for the longest time, you had that deficiency. Like we look at the deficiency of vitamin B12 over the years and it's link and correlation with people who have Alzheimer's, dementia and Parkinson's. It makes us realize that if we have a deficiency of this vitamin for a long time in our system, there is some side effect that is happening to our organ health, to our brain health or to some part in the human body. Now, when it comes to vitamin D, more, what most of us think it's related to bone health, and it is related to bone health. We need the right amount of vitamin D to improve the absorption of calcium into the human body. So you could be popping all of those calcium supplements, but if you don't have the right amount of vitamin D, which enables the absorption of calcium into your bones, you have a big problem, and then you're left with excess calcium in the human body, which can further cause kidney problems, oxalates, and all of those issues known as calcium toxicity. So there needs to be a balance because there's always synergy of vitamins and minerals that work in the human body, like the synergy of food. One food may have a particular action. One food may sound great on Google on your diet plan, but it requires another food in order for it to be assimilated and absorbed into the human body. So when it comes to vitamin D, yes, it plays a huge role with your bone health. The second thing that makes us think, India, and the US are the highest consumers of dairy products and calcium supplements. And India and the US have the highest count of osteoporosis. So we all link a deficiency of vitamin D with osteoporosis and we go on popping supplements thinking that osteoporosis is gonna be solved. But osteoporosis is so much more than just a deficiency of calcium and vitamin D. It has everything to do with your acidity. The more acidic you are, the more calcium you leach from your bones into your blood to make your pH more alkaline. And we create osteoporosis because we're completely acidic. So now the root cause of the problem is osteoporosis, which will be fixed when we address our acidity, not by popping more and more calcium and vitamin D supplements. Anyway, that's a different topic. Coming down to where do we get vitamin D from? We get vitamin D, the best vitamin D from sunlight. But a lot of us live in countries where we don't get that kind of sunlight. And even if we're living in a country where we get sufficient sunlight, we have pollution levels, we have depleting ozones, we have the wrong UV rays reaching us. And we have farmers who work in the field barebacked without their shirts on, exposed to sunlight throughout the day. And even they have low levels of D3. It's telling us clearly that our environment is changing, that it's become a huge issue where our environment is actually now impacting our health. I have people who can sit out in the sunlight 30 minutes in the day, morning, 30 minutes in the evening, and yet their vitamin D only slowly creeps up, which is why we have supplementation because most foods as we know, be it non-vegetarian and vegetarian, it gives us very, very micro doses of vitamin D, which is not really sufficient for us. We can get vitamin D in micro doses from our foods, but we get our mega doses from the sunlight that we expose ourselves. But we have a problem with both aspects. We're not getting the right kind of sunlight. Two, we have contamination in our food, which is why supplementation is a big thing today. Now the beauty of vitamin D supplementation, it is harmless. It has no side effects if you're taking the right quality of vitamin D prescribed by your doctors for the right reasons. 
Now you have a lower range and an upper range. If you have an insufficiency or you have a deficiency, you should be looking at every way to improve your calcium, your vitamin D levels right now. So people come into sufficiency and they may be at a level of 30, 35, which is borderline low, but well within the range. You don't stop there. You slowly try to take your vitamin D up to the upper level. Now it's dangerous to go into toxicity because too much of vitamin D in your body will also help make you absorb too much of calcium into your system that you don't need, leading to calcium toxicity. You have a lower range and you have an upper range. You do not want to exceed the upper range. You want to stay within the range that your medical parameters define for you, but towards the higher range. You want to slowly creep up your vitamin D levels because we're all dropping our vitamin D very, very quickly. We take a dose of vitamin D, our levels go up within three months, they've come down again. So it is so important for you to work with your medical professionals to maintain high levels of vitamin D within the range. Because going overboard on vitamin D, a lot of people just pop vitamin D supplements and then their levels are higher than the normal range and that's toxicity of vitamin D, which will also have severe side effects on your health. So everything has to be done within that range, but you want to stay towards the higher range. So how does vitamin D work in the human body? We absorb most of it through our skin when we're exposed to sunlight. This gets stored as an inactive form of D in our fat cells. Now, there's a, through a process of hydroxylation, our liver and kidney makes this stored vitamin D active and uses it for all the functions that we need. The functions of vitamin D doesn't just end at your bones. Today, when you look at more and more medical science and medical research, we have research coming out of national cancer institutes from across the countries, from breast cancer organizations and nutritional institutes from across the country. We have research coming in from Dana-Farber Center of Cancer Research as well, talking about how the right amount of vitamin D levels in the human body is also showing promise to the prevention of certain cancers and the healing of certain cancers. So am I saying that you pop vitamin D and you're gonna heal your cancer? No, I'm saying it's part of your entire healing, especially when it's a breast cancer, an ER positive cancer, and colorectal cancers, cancers of the colon, cancers of the rectum. They are showing how vitamin D, the higher levels of vitamin D are helping with the healing and the prevention of such cancers. And why? Because vitamin D has not everything to do just with your bones. It plays a huge role with your immunity. And we all know the correlation of immunity and cancer. The stronger your immune system, the better the chances are, the, the better the chances you have of preventing your cancer of, or even enabling the healing of your cancers. Something as simple as a vitamin plays a role when it comes to your immune system, your cancers, your bone health, and even your hormones. Vitamin D is usually listed and categorized as a vitamin, but it is also called a precursor hormone because we need vitamin D in our system in sufficient amounts for the health and balance of all other hormones in men and women. And today, most problems that men and women have are basically related to your hormonal imbalance. Estrogen either being too much or too little, testosterone being either too much or too little, all your other hormones being out of whack because of our eating habits, sleep deprivation, lack of exercise or overtraining. So you need vitamin D to even regulate your hormonal health, your immunity, your bones. We've had so many patients who come with aching bones and joints and all of that stuff. And when you look at their vitamin D levels, they're in levels of three, four, seven, ten. That is critically low. You need to understand that is critically low. And sometimes only after about two to three weeks of pushing up their vitamin D through supplementation or exposure to sunlight, their pains disappear, completely disappear. Something as simple as a vitamin D knocks off most of these body pains because your pains were caused by the deficiency of vitamin D. Brain fog. So many people today suffer from brain fog. They're constantly tired, lethargic, and they have this, you know, this heavy feeling in their head throughout the day. So they resort to taking more caffeine and more supplements and all of that stuff. What they're lacking is vitamin D3 and vitamin B12. Only by upping their levels and bringing them in, in within the range on a higher level, their brain fog disappears. They get more and more energetic. If you're fatigued constantly, check your vitamin D3 levels. It could be as simple as low vitamin D3 levels that is creating a problem with your energy levels. You know, uh, I have this beautiful woman in Goa, her name is Josephine, and she runs this beautiful home where she takes in people, old parents and old women and men who have been abandoned on the streets and no one takes them in. She takes them into their own home and looks after them. Uh, about a couple of months last year, I visited this home and she explained how 
fatigued these people were. We looked at their reports, all of them were low on vitamin D3 levels. We just put them on a three course, our doctor put them on a three month course of vitamin D3. And within three weeks, this lady had the most unbelievable feedback of how these aged people were now walking around and feeling so much more energetic only because their D3 levels were handled. So now all of us know people who are going through fatigue and all of these things. It's as simple, do your vitamin D3 level test and if it's low, get it fixed by your doctor because it could take care of innumerable problems that you have, just a deficiency. You'll be surprised at the amount of red medical research and science also showing the role of vitamin D in autistic children, in children with ADHD and even adult ADHD. They're showing a correlation how a deficiency of vitamin D3 plays a huge role in the progress of autistic children and ADHD. And I think we have so many cases where children have been brought to us with autism and their levels of D3 have been in five and six and seven. And only by improving their vitamin D3 levels, the parents come back and say, we're seeing progress in their behavior. We're seeing progress in their speech. Are we saying that vitamin D3 is gonna take away their autism? No, we're trying to show you the importance of vitamin D3 and B12 when it comes to autistic children, when it comes to everything. So what we're trying to show you is one vitamin deficiency in the human body can play an innumerable, can play a role in innumerable conditions and stuff like that. And you lose nothing by checking it out, especially children and adults going through chemotherapy and radiation. We should understand that we're depleting our bodies of several vitamins. So you want to make sure that you're also taking care of your vitamin supplementation, either through your supplements or through your food when you're going through these treatments. Now, vitamin D through a supplement is ab absorbed through your gut. So people who have gut problems, people who have Crohn's, people who have celiac issues, people who have IBS, people who have constant constipation will always have low levels of vitamin D3. So if you have these issues, you wanna make sure that you check your D3 levels every six months because you are gonna need supplementation because you're not absorbing a lot of the vitamin D3. And if you don't have the right amount of vitamin D3, it is gonna create a problem in your system with several functions in the human body. This is how important vitamin D3 is in the human body. And the more and more medical research that comes out, the more it shows the importance and connection of vitamin D3 with almost every condition, every medical condition, every you know disease that we're going through has a role in vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 has a role in controlling insulin. So it plays a huge role with people who have diabetes. With weight loss as well, there are more and more studies showing how it's more difficult for people to lose belly fat and people to lose weight when their vitamin D3 levels are down. And we've seen that. People who have low vitamin D3s, we boost it up. And then we see and we feel that their, their weight loss actually starts getting a little bit better because weight loss is not just about your nutrition and the amount of exercise you put your body through. It's about metabolism. It's about chemistry. It's about physiology. It's about your cells and hormones communicating with each other. So they're either communicating the right way or the wrong way. This is the importance of one little vitamin, which is so important in the human body. So you may want to get your levels fixed. You may want to get your levels checked at least once in six months if you've had this as an ongoing problem. Because believe me, you give your body the right amount of vitamins, you're enabling your body to look after you and keep a strong immune system. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.